Hello dear friends, autumn is already round. That air is bummy. We could feel that our much awaited Durga Puja, the most awaited festival of Bengal, is just round. But, yes dear friends, there's a but this year. Could we celebrate Durga Puja this year with the same spirit we do every year? The answer could either be yes or no. None is sure about it. COVID-19 has had a lot already and we don't know what more will come. Whatever, let's focus to our point. I think Durga Puja is an emotion. Every festival is so. But this is the supreme form of emotion of the Bengali society that find its voice in a beautiful amalgamation of both tradition and modernity. As a photographer, I am quite in love with capturing tradition. Hence, we are here in Shurul to find a tradition of about 290 years old. Yes, dear friends, for the Durga Pujas of West Bengal, you would find two clear segments. One is the Baro Ari Puja. Baro year, that means 12 friends. That means it's an offering by the society where the society together celebrate this Puja. And beside this, there's the tradition of West Bengal. The Bengali culture in the form of the pujas offered by the families, particularly by the Jamindas and the well of families of West. This is also a puja of the Sarkars, the Jamindas of the Surul village. The family has now been divided. Here we first talk about the Boro Sharkarbari. The huge Thakur Dalan is built over 7 to 8 bigha of land at the cost of Rs 1750 in those days. As we have been told by the family members, this Thakur Dalan has been designed by a British architect. The huge palace like Durga Mandir is amazing. When you enter, you'll pass through a mela or a fair that presents all sorts of color and festivity. The puja ambience is truly extraordinary here. On entering the temple, you'd find people that comprises of every segment of the society and also some foreigners as well. Yes, this is the this is actually one of the best place to learn the tradition of Bengal. The family members are also quite involved in pujas and they are also always around. The puja is offered maintaining all the tradition and customs. The puja vedi or the altar that's also established by offering 108 animal heads. That's also an information we have gathered from the family members. The puja begins from Mahalaya and the preparation for the Vogue for offering throughout the puja days also gets started. The Vogue is not comprised of rice as the Sarkars are not the Brahmins but Shod Gopas that means they belong to a former family. The puja is also of grandeur here. The whole temple is decorated with Belgium glass chandeliers. And they are a point of attraction. In the past, the ornamentation of the Devi idol, known as Daker Shaj, was brought from Germany. These were delivered by post in those days. Really, this puja is a very suitable visit for you if you seek tradition. This puja has its own beauty. We have talked to the family members and also excavated some beautiful facts which we have presented here. If you ask me about my views regarding this puja, I would rather ask you to look at these pictures well. Here 
in this picture you would find the head of the family they are waiting there in the vogar with all their paperwork and the cash and this is the beautiful chandeliers those has been lit in a traditional way with oil so these are truly lamps and no electric bulb or led has been put into it so to excavate the beauty of this place you have to stay there in the evening and you would find that this place looks heavenly when all the chandeliers are lit very much traditionally so the beauty of the belgium glass is present here till today and they also follow all the other traditions of those days like the performance of jatra baul etc so throughout the night the cultural program goes on here during those puja days so dear friends it's a must visit for you if you really want to learn the tradition of bengal if you like this video obviously share it with your friends and families so that everyone can enjoy such a great tradition of india thank you thanks for watching